Hi, welcome to the Let Me Guide You series on uh, business objects cloud, cloud analytics. My name is Ivo van der Zand and today I'm going to talk about KPI tiles that I want to apply some conditional formatting to so that the color coding changes depending on certain selections. So what I've done is the following. I selected the KPI tile and I made a little formula that looks as follows. My revenue divided by my forecast, uh, which gives an indication of the forecast accuracy. Yeah. So what I'm going to do right now is the following. I'm going to add, <coughs> first of all, a filter for um, all my cities. So I'll take all, uh, all members, all countries, and um, over here are my countries uh, and my cities. And over here I say multiple selections uh, for a hierarchy. So uh, let me put this one over here. And make it a bit bigger. And over here I can see all of my <coughs> cities where I want to be able to toggle around and see the conditional formatting. So how do I apply conditional formatting? This works as follows. I select my uh, chart and go to conditional formatting and um, I uh, want to apply that to all models. I have only one model over here so uh, I can select that one model, but if you have more than one, you can even define which ones uh, you want to uh, work with. And I could, for example, tick the assigned colors element. Um, <clears throat> in this case, I'm going to first work with a threshold, uh, and I'm going to say, depending on my model, I want to look at my metric that um, is my accuracy metric and now I'm going to define that everything that is above 90% um, and below let's say uh, 300 is green I'm going to apply a rule and say anything that is above 60% and below 90% is yellow and the last one is anything that is above zero and below 0.6 should be wet. And over here, of course, there should be point um, 90. And over here, it should. This, this one is okay. So I'm going to um, define this new threshold and. For the moment, still nothing happens. It means that I, um, to work with uh, the threshold, I need to go back to my uh, definition, which I am over here. And now I can add the threshold that I just defined as accuracy. Here we go. And now you can see if I now untick, and for example, tick to lose. You can see that is being colored orange. If I untick to lose and I tick, for example, uh, let's take Bern, you see that this one is in the green area, and for example, Paris is in the red area. This is how you apply color coded thresholds.